So welcome to episode 84 of the Clarity Compressed podcast today. We're coming at you from downtown Chicago. Clarity can only really exist in the light of truth. Branding just isn't a tactic. It's a lifestyle change. I'm here in the Nike lab, the Nike recreation lab in Chicago. I have to catch a flight, but I had to see it for myself. This place is amazing. Talk about keeping it fresh and doing something different as an experience. So today's moment of clarity, I'll try to pull it out of this, is that you're never too old to try something new. And I know that's been said before, but it's true. If you're feeling a little stale, try something different. Try something that is outside the box. Yeah, it might not work, but guess what? The process of it not working is gonna get you one step closer to something that does work, and you might learn something about yourself in the process. So that's it. I'm so excited for what he's gonna show me. Hurry up and show me Paul's pick. Okay, Paul's pick for this week is Wrigley Field and the Chicago Cubs. This guy drug me out to us, he drug me out to a Chicago Cubs game last night, and I've been to Major League games before, but there is something really, really special about Wrigley Field. I've never felt such community at a ballpark, and look, you know, guys, I'm talking about Philly and the community there, but it was a different experience altogether. It was like a big family got together to watch a baseball game. It was strangely, um, I don't know, this might be a weird, weird word, but it was strangely informal. Um, you know, pro sports can be kind of formal, and there are formal elements of pro sports, but there's like this informality of it, like in the seventh inning stretch, a guy just leaned out of the window in the press box with a microphone, and everyone turned and looked at him and sang Take Me Out to the Ball Game. And that's one real little example, but my pick for this week, if you ever can, go to a baseball game at Wrigley Field. So I'm in between two conferences right now in downtown Chicago. That's, I apologize in advance for the audio, especially if you're listening to the podcast and not watching the video, because it makes a little more sense if you're watching the video. But um, I'm right at the edge of Magnificent Mile, downtown Chicago, in between two conferences. I've been talking about conference season ramping up, so this is really the first blast of the year. And what I've been thinking about when I'm getting back, getting back in the conference mode is that if nothing changes, then nothing changes. Like, Conferences are so bittersweet for me in a lot of ways. And this time around, like setting into a new season and a new mode, I'm thinking about, I'm paying more attention to people at conferences and their faces and their body position and you know what I feel like their mood is at the beginning, at the end of the conference. And it's kind of a bittersweet thing going to conferences for me. Because number one, I miss home a lot. I love to travel. I love to meet new people. and Frankly, if I wasn't at these events, I wouldn't have met the amazing people I've met over the last year. And in that is, you know, mentors and CEOs of publicly traded companies and people who are being innovators and really doing amazing things. And it broadens my mind, it gives me objectivity, it gets me out of my bubble. But the bitter part is I have to be away from home. And home is where I recharge and refresh and it's always hard leaving the family. I always can't wait till I get home. I wear a special shirt on the way home every time I start my journey home. I probably plug that in here so you can see what it looks like. So it's a bittersweet. I miss home, but I like to do these amazing things where I get to come to these places, broaden my horizon, be around the energy. So that's a bittersweet thing about conferences, but what I'm really thinking about is that a lot of times we can go to these events and a lot of times the people I see are coming to these events and nothing changes when you get back as a result of going. So I think people leave with this expectation that I'm gonna learn things, I'm gonna innovate, I'm gonna broaden my horizons, but then by the end and by the time they get back home, they get tired, nothing actually changes, the idea just fades away as if it wasn't a really good idea or if the content they learned wasn't actually really good content and the real danger in going to conferences and moving and shaking and going to these things is that you convince yourself that going and getting the ball moving is actually doing and there's a massive massive gap between being present and actually succeeding at change so it's like being present is not the same thing, first of all, 
as hearing. When you go somewhere, you have a conversation with somebody, you make a decision to try something new, right? Being present there doesn't mean that you're actually listening and paying attention to what's going on. And the next step is actually paying attention. We're like, okay, I went, okay, I paid attention and I heard what they were saying. Good ideas, good thoughts, good objectivity, good, um, good uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Good intention to change. But hearing and having good attention intentions isn't the same thing as actually implementing. So being present doesn't mean you heard, and even if you heard, it doesn't mean that you've implemented, and then even after you've implemented, it doesn't mean the implementation has been successful. So these are all back to the principle of like, hey, if nothing changes, nothing changes. It's easy to convince ourselves that just because we went and did something, or we had a great idea, or we started to try to implement that idea, that that equals change, and that doesn't equal change. Which is why you have to really pay attention to all the steps that happen in between those phases. A couple weeks ago, we talked about the process of branding and marketing that we go through, and the honesty, empathy, attention, connection, care, right? Just being honest with yourself and what your vision is and who you're about and who you're trying to serve and what, you, what your purpose and why you're doing it doesn't mean that you're actually succeeding in caring for the people with my hands in the light, dark light. See how that's working? Either way, that doesn't mean that you're actually caring and you're actually succeeding in doing that. So the real problem, the real danger is convincing yourself that going is the same thing as succeeding and this applies across the board. Like if you're in business right now, if you're one of those personal, or even if you're a personal growth person, uh, chances are if you're listening or watching this podcast, you're a person that's committed to progressing and committed to growing. But think about all the times right now, if you're that type of person, chances are you get excited about new things and excited about change and excited about being innovative, but there's literally a graveyard full of the best idea that you've ever had. And there's a graveyard full of them because they never got implemented, they never got changed, you got distracted, you got bored, Think about that for a second. When was the last time you had a great idea and didn't follow through with it? It's probably pretty frequent. It is for me. I'm trying to get more disciplined about surrounding myself with people and processes and systems that protect me from believing that just because I had a great idea that I've actually made progress. Like great ideas don't matter. A zillion great ideas come up every day. It's the people that implement them and take action that actually get changed. So if nothing changes, nothing changes. Right? This applies to personal relationships too. If you say to your, you know, in a romantic relationship or friendship, let's go romantic relationship, marriage, fiance, partner, right? You have all this stuff going on. But if you say, oh, I hear what you're saying to me. Um, I hear what you're saying. And so thank you. I don't want to do that anymore. But then if you don't actually change the behavior and implement the knowledge that you have, well, nothing changes. And then nothing changes and then we get discouraged because nothing changes and we feel helpless and hopeless. So today, brief podcast, quick shot because it's noisy out here. I gotta run to a conference. I'm gonna pay more attention. Maybe we'll get some more insights after this show, but if nothing changes, nothing changes. So think about the things in your life. Just being present and going out and getting out of your comfort zone and doing different things doesn't mean that you heard or learned anything. And if you have heard and learned something, that doesn't mean that you've implemented it. And just if you take steps to implement it, that's good. You're making progress, but that doesn't mean it's successful. So get objective and audit the space between being present and implementing because if nothing changes, nothing changes. So that's it, that's the podcast for today. I hope you're having a fantastic day. It's beautiful out here, so I'm having a good day, excited to learn new things. But now this is a more of a reminder for myself because I get easily excitable at, pot, at conferences that I'm gonna hear, I'm gonna learn, I need to go home, implement, I need to see actual success so I know that something changes. Clarity Compressed Community, it's so good seeing you, so good to talk to you. Thank you for listening, thank you for watching. I'm gonna be at a lot of other conferences, we'll list them below, uh, starting next month in October, Car Gurus event in Boston in November, uh, a couple different events, we're gonna post those below as well. And uh, keep the questions and the DMs coming, I'd like to answer more of them on the show, and I'll see you next week. Until then, pursue clarity.